Braided, stylish, free. Pinky, curly, let it be. My name is Faith Finity, and I want to say thank you for allowing me to be a recipient of the Crown Act Award. I want to say thank you to God, to both my parents and my two brothers for walking beside me throughout my, throughout my journey and learning experience. It was very hard to understand how someone could mistreat me because of the way I was wearing my hair, and it still shocks me to this day that this happens in our world. But the support and encouragement that I have received from so many people around the globe is just outstanding. It has built my confidence and I'm continuing to stay humble, but I know now know that I have a duty to serve others. I'm an advocate, I believe in the Crown Act, and I want to see us make a mark on how important it is not to discriminate against people because of the way they choose to wear their hair. I want to say thank you to those who know me and to those who don't, who have sent me words of encouragement. I now have a goal and a mission to be able to pour into the lives of my peers and help them feel the pride I feel in being who I am. I'm thankful that I had the family support to be able to stand here and accept this award. I'm honored to be in this position and I'm forever grateful. Thank you. Wow, Faith, you've gotten so big and so beautiful. Congratulations on your honor. It is most deserved. Next, we honor Young Crown Spotlight, Alejandra Roy, a rising 10th grader at Piedmont High School in Piedmont, California, where she consistently maintains a 4.0 GPA. Um, that's hard work, so you know she's about it. She has been an active member of Jack and Jill of America in the Oakland Bay Area chapter for over 12 years and is a respected crew member of the Oakland Strokes rowing team. She has also, she's also the co-leader and key speaker of the first Black Lives Matter movement in her hometown of Piedmont, where she organized demonstrations and rallies. Alejandra volunteers through several organizations, and she also has mentor young students uh, with educationally enriched activities. Alejandra became a proud supporter of the Crown Act after completing research for a high school project on why hair matters. I love that, she's a baddie. Please take a peek at Alejandra and her story. Hi, my name is Alejandra Roy and I'm from Piedmont, California. I'm 15 years old and a rising 10th grader at Piedmont High School. I love to express myself, especially with my hair. And I have several women to thank for this self sense of self and style. Although there are many black women who have influenced me over the years to include my mother, sister, aunts, and grandmother, the most influential this year has been Supervisor Holly Mitchell. Because of her and her devoted team, we can now remove the fear of wearing our natural hair in a natural environment. I completed an extensive research project where I chose to study black hair and its roots back Africa. I found that our hair was styled to enhance our beauty, but it also signified status tribe, and wealth in Africa. Once we arrived here in the U.S., it became a way of maintaining our identity and a way to escape slavery because our braids relayed messages and routes to freedom by mapping the underground railroads. Fast forward to the 1970s, Afros were the beauty statement that we used to represent a powerful political statement symbol that reflected Black pride and worn by revolutionary organizations such as the Black Panther Party. As you can see, we are resilient and resourceful people, even when it comes to our hair. My message to all the young Black girls is that your hair is gorgeous and magnificent any way you decide to wear it. So, let's keep passing the crown. Our next honoree is Ajawa B. Asamoa. She is an international influencer and impact strategist who has been leading the legislative strategy for the Crown Movement since she attended a Dove breakfast at Essence Fest in 2018. Ajawa immediately responded to the call to action and used her power as a mover of policy and culture to spearhead the legislative efforts and help create the Crown Coalition. We are so honored to salute you, Ajwa, with the Crown Award for Social Action. Thank you for all that you have done to help pass the crown in California, New York, and all of the states thus far. 
Thank you so much for this distinguished honor. It has genuinely been fulfilling to have developed the legislative strategy for the historic Crown Act and to lead this nationwide movement to pass bills and outlaw race-based hair discrimination for the past three years. As I continue to fight anti-Blackness on multiple fronts and to do the work of changing not just the laws, but also the culture around natural hair, whether it's blown out like mine is today or in a twist out like mine was last week. I am doing so to ensure black children are in schools that are nurturing. And so they are not subject to being told their hair is a violation of school rules. And I am doing so to ensure black women and men aren't in work settings where Eurocentric standards of beauty continue to perpetuate inequity and injustice. While I gladly accept this award, it is truly on behalf of the people. Thank you to my parents, Kwame and Ruth, who taught me organizing as a child. Thank you to the presidents of all of the influential organizations who said yes when I called to join me in this fight. And thank you to the small but mighty incomparable sister squad, AC, Kelly, Orlena, Marcy, and Melanie, who were there since day one. Thank you to the Crown Awards Committee. Twist it, braid it, style it, free. Kick it, curly, let it be. My hair is my freedom. My crown is my freedom. Do it with strength, so creatively. Redefine and true beauty. Ajua, thank you so much for the incredible work that you have done in legislation. You stepped up to the plate enthusiastically, uh, wanting to advance the cause and make sure that legislation was changed. We are so grateful for your work. Our next honoree has also worked tirelessly to support the efforts of the Crown Act. I am honored to honor on behalf of Crown Act and Crown Day, Senator Holly Mitchell. Thank you, Ty, for that really generous introduction. And I appreciate you. I can't tell you how honored I am to share the second annual Crown Day with everyone. And thank you so much for today's recognition. I have to tell you, uh, I didn't get here by myself. There was a team of people who brought us to this day, this amazing day of recognition. So if you allow me, I'd like to just take a quick minute to thank some of them. First of all, my Black female state legislators across the country, Nobel Women, thank you. Thank you to A.C. Eagleson Bracey, who I met at a Nobel Women breakfast, who told, told us about uh, the Dove survey and how so many of us really struggle with the ability to wear our natural hair to the workplace. So thank you to Nobel, AC, and your vision around forming the Crown Coalition, now a nationwide organization of people who stand with us in this fight to end hair discrimination. I've got to thank my team, the amazing Tracy Heard Parker, who came up with the Crown acronym, creating a respectful and open world for natural hair my Chief of Staff, Tiffany Alvedris, and Bridget Kolakoski, our sister in the struggle who understood why it was so important for us in California to introduce this bill. We had amazing lobbyists, other sisters who wore their hair natural. Leo Barrows, thank you. I wanna thank the cadre of black women legal scholars who help us frame the argument, argument that hair is a race-based trait worthy of protection. I thank each and every one of you. Last but not least, let me give a nod to a courageous governor, Governor Gavin Newsom, who two years ago today made a very courageous statement, even when the social media trolls were taunting him about this was a trivial issue, people could just change their hair, and he needed to focus on real public policy issues confronting California. And he stood alongside me and many of us as we had the bill signing ceremony in his office. And he said, hair discrimination 
is discrimination and it's time has come to end. So congratulations to all of us who have the opportunity now to rock our natural crown as we see fit at home and school. We've got miles to go before we sleep and I see the light at the end of the tunnel. Thanks everybody and happy crown day. Supervisor Mitchell, we would not be here without you and we are grateful for your leadership. Our next honoree takes us from California all the way cross country to my home state of New Jersey, where she worked behind the scenes to help get the Crown Act passed in record time. She is a legend in the legislative advocacy world and has been doing this work for over 40 years. Janine LaRue helped lead the efforts in New Jersey and the bill was passed in one year after the horrific wrestling match that went viral in New Jersey. So thank you, Janine LaRue, we salute you. Thank you so much for this award today. I am honored and I am humbled uh, to be recognized uh, for a project that I have believed in all of my life. The right to not be discriminated against by how we wear our hair. I also believe that we shouldn't be discriminated against how we dress. I believe appearing, showing up in my authentic way, in my ethnic authentic way. I want to give special thanks to Joy Collective and Doug for taking on this project and knowing that this battle is still not won. We're thrilled here in New Jersey that we were able to get this legislation through the process with very, very little dissension, uh, very little controversy. It actually landed on the governor's desk in a bipartisan way. And we were really, really grateful for that. I want to thank Kaufman Zeta Group, uh, the lobbying firm where I have spent the last decade, for never blinking an eye and saying, yes, this issue is important, not only for this region, not only for the state, but for this country. And they wanted to step up to the plate and take this project on. So again, thank you for this award. I have worn my hair in a natural state. My daughter will be 50 years old this year and she has never seen me without a natural hairdo. So I have believed in this issue all most of my life. Thank you again for this award. And I look forward to our moving throughout other states in this country so that every state has a crown act and hopefully we can get this done at the federal level. Wow, thank you. Thank you so much and you look beautiful. While we've mentioned two states, we've mentioned California and New Jersey, as of today, we have 13 states that have passed legislation to end hair discrimination. Yet we still have 37 states to go. And we all know how important it is to pass the bill at the federal level. So last year, the Crown Act was introduced by Congressman Cedric Richmond and Senator Cory Booker. And while it passed the US representatives, it did not pass the Senate. So we are grateful that the Crown Act has been reintroduced in both chambers by Senator Booker and by Congresswoman Bonnie Watson Coleman, who is also from New Jersey. The Honorable Bonnie Watson Coleman is with us tonight to talk about the effort to pass the Crown Act at the federal level. Will you please join me in welcoming Congresswoman Bonnie Watson Coleman from the great state of New Jersey as we pass the crown award to you. Hello everyone. I am honored to receive this legendary crown award today. Thank you to the Joy Collective and all Crown Act movement supporters for this recognition. More than legislation, the call for an end to race-based hair discrimination has become an incredible movement throughout the nation. And I am proud to join this movement through the reintroduction of the Crown Act on a federal level in Congress. Black women, men, boys, and girls continue to face discrimination based on their hair texture and hairstyles. And this simply cannot continue. That is why it is so important that the Crown Act is recognized in every state in this nation and passed on a federal level to make the statement loud and clear that black hair 
is a part of black identity and discrimination cannot and will not be tolerated. Black people, people of the African diaspora, are people of great diversity, and our diversity is beautiful. It deserves admiration, not discrimination. Today, we have a lot to celebrate, but we still have work to do. We must continue to call for an end to race-based discrimination in America as we look forward to truly creating an open and respectful world for natural hair. Keep up the fight. Wonderful, congratulations, and thank you so much for all of the work that you're doing.